Man, what's up, Dre TV? Man, it's your boy Dre. Roll to 100K, 100K Dre. Now I got it out the way. I got something to say. Hey, man, say, man. On today's video, it says, Teen goes to war for his girlfriend and it doesn't end well. You know what I'm saying? First of all, bro, you better really be in love, boy, because if you want an award for your girlfriend, you gotta be in love, man. You gotta be in love. I ain't gonna do too much dragging out this video. We about to get right into it. If it's your first time watching, make sure you hit the subscribe button, man. Hit the like button. Do all that good shit for you, boy, one time, one time. 2023, police were dispatched to a college campus for a male refusing to leave the property in Wausau, Wisconsin. According to campus security, a 17-year-old male was attempting to retrieve his girlfriend's confiscated pepper spray, which was prohibited on campus. Despite being informed by security that they would not return it and that he needed to leave the premises, the male became increasingly hostile. I know this nigga ain't go crazy over no pepper spray. Gang, you can go buy some old pepper spray, bro. That's that white privilege shit. You hear me? That's that spoiled kid shit. Bro, pepper spray? started yelling at the security officers and threatened to take theirs, although they did not possess any at the moment. Subsequently, he physically attacked the security officers and made threats. During the altercation, the male claimed he couldn't breathe, so the security officers released him. He then fled through the doors and ran out to the parking lot. Police located him outside with his girlfriend waiting near the bus stop. 206157, what's this guy's name again? Is that your guy? Hey, he said, if you don't give me my pepper spray, I swear to God, I'm going to take your shit. Hey, man, calm your white ass down, bro. Okay. Does he have anything on him that you're aware of? No. 206157. I think that's him by the bus up there. Okay, you just want him off property? or? I don't know if he actually, but he took a swing at one of the security officers today. I don't know if he actually, yeah. Okay. I don't know if okay. he actually hit him. Okay. I'm going to have to talk to the RP over here. Might have charges. When he was asked to sit while officers investigate, he refused and made it clear he would only cooperate on his terms. Hello. Hello. Hey, Brian, I gotta go home. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Have a seat. Oh, my security officer coming to get you. Nigga, I would have jumped on that bus so quick now. Actually, they would have got him on the bus, bro. He just trying to go home, man. Let the, let the little white boy go home, bro. Let him go home, bro. Get it for pepper spray. Okay. And I talked to her about it, saying that we're going to get a hold of Stetson first before I give it back to you because she is underage. Yeah. And she has it here. So I was told that you have to sell pepper spray, right? Are you the one that... It's hers. Okay, let's just have a seat here for a second. All right? Because I said oh, so. We can figure out what's going on. All right? So we can get catch the next bus. Okay, well, we're going to go inside so we I'm not going to touch her. So her boyfriend, Fortune, came in, was saying that he was civilized while talking to Mike, and I told him he had to leave because he had no reason to be here, and we've had troubles with him before. I have no reason to touch you. Okay. Okay. I have no idea. Can you at least listen to us? I'm like, I'm, I have a listen to you. Yep. Can you guys have a seat over there by the. I'm gonna have a seat. Sure. Why don't you jump cut? Uh, they took our and said they were gonna throw it away when they just held on to it, gave us a warning, gave it back. Hey man, this white boy got on a bathing aid shirt, the Jordan shorts, and some J's on, bro. Oh, he dug it. He dug it. He dug it. Literally, somebody else here let her go in with it already. Okay, what are we talking about? A pepper spray. He started cussing, telling us to shut up, telling us, like, you. And then he got to the point where he reached down to my security officer's waistband and I pushed him aside. Okay. And then he swung at my security officer. Can I stand up on the sidewalk room so I'm not standing in the street, please? I Thank simply you. forgot it and they're just trying to throw it away. Okay, so you brought some pepper spray to school, forgot that you had it with you? Yes. And now they took it from you, correct? Yes. Okay. And I asked to just get it back by the end of the day and they said that's not possible and they were going to throw it away. So that's, that's what happened? And then, well, they started to I was looking for it in there because they want to give it back. That's our property. They don't need to just throw away. But they can give us a warning. I don't go to school here anymore. I already graduated. I went in there looking for it. They want to give it up. Tony. Bro, you don't go to school there. First of all, bro, you talking too much. Be quiet, gang. What you fuck? You don't go to school there and you dating somebody in high school, kid? What the? First, and then they tackle me to the ground. So we pinned up against, we escalated by well, pinning up against the, our vestibule window. Okay. He was t telling my security officer he's gonna kill him, he's gonna come back here and stab him. Okay. He pushed you. Tony, Tony the, the security guard. The officer. So he pushed me, so I put my hand back on him, and then they both started choking me out. And they fed up my girl's hands, and I swear to God, I'm gonna kill him. So the girlfriend got in the middle of it trying to break it up. <laughs> this nigga told the cop, I swear to God, I'm gonna kill him. Yeah, turn around and put your hands behind your back. Come on, you come with us. We about to go. Come on, you come with us. I didn't 
think her arm must have got caught. We called, I called the EMS. Eventually, we we let him go to let him breathe because he said he wasn't, he couldn't breathe. Yeah. We let him go, paid some distance, and then he jolted off. He ran towards some stage buildings over. Yeah. There, and then started walking this way. Okay, and that's probably when I pulled up and saw him. Yeah. Does she still have her pepper spray? She does not. Okay. Any attention on giving the back? I mean, it's all depending on who sets it. No, yeah, I was not to get that back. I don't care. So what, what happened to your hand? They were choking they, me out, and she was in the middle of it, and they were crushing her hand against the door. They kept telling me to get out, but they kept pushing against me, and I can't get out if two grown men on top of me. I'm the director, but I'm the principal. I saw it all. So okay. what happens is when something like that happens, we reach out to them because they're still their students and hold on to it for them in case they want it, in case they do something. They reached out to Stetzer. Stetzer was waiting for a okay. return. Stetzer could say, yeah, give it back, or you could say, no. Yeah, I mean, I'd say they're here and are there. What's her name? Do you need medical attention? No, I don't want to be here. I just want to go home. Okay, what happened? Because now it sounds like I was only told about the, the pepper spray. Now I'm okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, they, now, they, yeah. They and then I started hands. throwing hands because they, they were trying to choke first. me out, and then That's they were choking me out. Okay. And I, I started throwing hands. Boy, who are you? Who I started throwing hands. All right. All right. All right. I can only yeah. see one of you, right? Okay. Well. I'm just off. I understand you. They've done okay. this to me before you, for no reason. Do you need any medical attention? No. He did try to go non student zone too, and I had to uh, lock him off because he was trying to search for the item. Yeah, he started digging around at my secretary stuff looking for. Sure. So I did have pepper spray. So he said. Because he was, what was your name again? Don't worry about it. What, what is your name? I'm not giving that up. What is your name? I'm not giving it up. I don't have to tell you anything. But we're conducting an investigation. Okay, well, I'm not telling you anything. I just want to go home. You're making this more difficult. No. They, they did for saying they're gonna throw this stuff away. We bought for no reason. Basically, his complaint is he bought it for it's his property. We have no right of taking it. Okay. We never told him we were disposing of it. That's what they kept saying that we were gonna throw it away. We didn't say we were throwing it away, but sure. we have to hold on to it because it can be considered as a weapon. But here's the thing: is she's wanting to get out of here. The quicker I can get everybody's information and figure out what happened and talk with my partner, the quicker we can make that happen. All right, you're gonna get it from them anyway, so. I wasn't here, right? I didn't fight you, okay? Yeah. Like, why do you have to be mad at me? Because I don't like cops. They do this to me all the time. I've never met you before. I know. And it's not fair to just generalize all cops, Okay, right? but the thing is, I, every cop I have met here in Boston has mm -hmm. done this to me for no reason. Okay. Like, a Man, that boy name is B-Rad from Malibu. What is you talking about, nigga? Me just because I was walking and wouldn't give my name even though I was just walking. Well, I'm, I'm sorry that happened. Okay, but we were called here because because of the pepper spray incident and that you wouldn't leave the building. And then I had no idea there was an altercation before I got just, here. We just, just walked in the that. building and they said that they were going to call the cops. And I went in so simple. I literally just asked questions out of why and where it was and why we couldn't just get it back and get a warrant. Did you try to go in? Like, where did they have it stored at? Or why? I don't know. I, don't I went know. to the security office because that's what she told me they were going to put it. And the security guard in there was going to give it back to me, but she couldn't find it. So she told me to go over there where it could still be. And they wanted they said they were going to call the cops right away when I just went in asking. You guys looking to pursue charges against? I think so at this point. Yeah. Sure. He's just, we've dealt with him enough. Yeah. Do you know how old he is? 17. 17. Okay. Back. So how did, how did the, my, now this question is to you, how did the, this physical altercation? I work? went, I was standing right next to the desk in the front and I was trying to look for it. Bro, run. What did you still there talking, bro? Like, I would have been like, baby, I'm about, to, I'm about to get up out of here, bro. You don't even go to school here, bro. Like, take off, nigga. I'm not going to leave without my stuff, and they're trying to kick me out, so I'm going to look for it myself. Okay. And then Tony started pushing me, and he pushed me, so I pushed him, and then they both started coming at me, and I punched that ball dude so many times. He so, didn't touch anything at first, though. He just walked over there, and Tony started pushing So you walked behind the desk, you're saying? Yeah. Yes. And then that's when Tony pushed you, and then you pushed him back? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, the biggest fear I have is he kept saying he's coming back to uh, yeah, I mean, he, he was saying it half like uh, and yeah. Tony, but I I run a school full of children. Sure. So. Does he go to school here or uh, at he? he okay. Graduated. Okay. So yeah. he's hanging out here because his girlfriend's here. Okay. He will be no trespass from here. Absolutely. Okay. Hundred percent. Absolutely. So. And then they pushed him towards the outside of the glass part, like right outside of the building, and then got me in there, and then. I'll go talk over there, and then I'll follow up with you again. Okay. Thank Appreciate you. it. Are you sure you don't need any medical? Yeah, are you I'm sure? I'm fine. Okay, I don't care if you're fine. If you need medical attention, then get it. No, is I'm this fine. Hand? So, yes. what you're saying is, is you went over there to get the pepper spray. You walked that's behind the awesome. desk. That's when. Sure. Huh? So you went behind the desk. That's when Tony pushed you. You pushed him back, and then what happened after that? I don't know. They until pushing. 
Why is this cop asking all these damn questions? I just want to know, bro, because when y'all be pulling us over, y'all don't ask us all these questions, bro. You you want to see the whole picture. Like, he blind or something. Like this, with his hand like this. Both of them at the same time were choking me out. Well, I need to talk to my partner here. I would like it if both of you guys have a seat in there just so we can talk about what happened, and then hopefully we can get you guys out of here or what. I'm not really sure what, what the plan is just yet, but we have to kind of sort our ducks here, so. All right. So can you please have a seat in there? Well, you're making our job more difficult. Okay, well, I don't need to have a seat anywhere. Well, I don't. I don't know what they're going to tell me happened. Okay, we have to sort through this, but okay. I can't. I can't have my back turned to you while I'm trying to talk to my partner. Well, I'm not going to sit there. So why are you being difficult? Because I know how this to work. I'm it's, trying to give me a little close, close up for place. If I have to run, I'm going to run. I'm not letting y'all touch me. What, what? If I have to run, I'm going to run, bro. You got to be the dumbest criminal ever, bro. You gonna tell them you gonna run? Why would you even let them know that? Now, like, bro. Now I'm watching you to see if you gonna run, bro. You gotta stop too. Hey, you watch too many movies, gang. You watch too many movies. Run! Because I'm not letting y'all touch me or put me in a car. Okay, well, don't back away. Well, I'm gonna back away because I don't trust you. Are they here for me? Alright, I'm here for you. He was saying he was involved in the location. Yeah, I think we're gonna go to 95. Yeah, but let me talk to you first, I guess. Maybe you, you, know, you have some miracle that's gonna prevent it. But, hello. Is she denying medical attention now? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Alright. She doesn't want it. So, we're actually going to be taking him into custody. He's already said that he plans on running and fighting us. Can you guys just, like, stay at a safe distance? Because we're probably going to be calling you back. All right. Across the parking lot would be fine. Like, yeah. up on that side or something. So, yeah, we'll hang out. Appreciate it. No, the female is denying any medical attention now. Has stated that he plans on fighting and running away if we take him 95. That is the intention. I'm gonna have the med stage just across the parking lot for now until we get a couple more units. Can you tell my partner here what you told me about the incident? Yeah, I only yeah, talked to them, so I just want to hear your okay. side. Yeah. So, and, uh, man, they about to butter that boy up, man. Go ahead and tell us what happened, gang. We got we got bagger put around and calling. We about to just go ahead and trap that boy. He he got to be dumb. Cody, you dumb. There's a couple of people involved here. Who who were you hitting to get out of it? The bald guy with bald glasses. Guy. Right? Okay, so you're correct. Uh, okay, and I'm going to review video footage and stuff like that. What's your last name? Right. So I know who I'm talking to. You got my first name. But I don't know who your last name. That doesn't mean anything. Well, you got my first name. Okay, so do you not want to tell me your last name? No, they would give you all the information anyways. Why do I have to go through all that when you're standing right here? Uh... I can't have you leave or anything yet until I figure out what else is going on, okay? So I would really appreciate if you just sit somewhere so we can... Look at this cop. He trying to sneak up on him real quick. He keep backing up. Bro, go with your instinct and take off, gang. Run, nigga. So if you're saying you got choked, then, you know, that's a that's a different thing, and I, and I want to sort that out, okay? Are you looking to pursue charges against that? No. No? Okay. So you, you have pepper spray or OC spray, whatever you have. That's you okay. And I think the intention was... God, I mean... So the intention of that is that uh, Officer Stetzer is gonna probably take custody of that, and then it's up to him if he's gonna give it back to you or not. Okay. He's gonna give it bro, this cop right here, y'all peeping him. He 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 ready for it, bro. He leaning forward, twisting his ankle, making sure his ankle's right, making sure his bro just go for it, bro. I would have tackled that nigga so quick, bro. That's why I'm pissed off about it. Why all this happen? Because like, they're gonna throw away our property we bought for no reason. A different security guard has let her in there with it before. And then they're trying to pretend like that never happened. I don't know if it did or didn't. It okay, did. so because I if, forgot it yet again, but my car was over there. I didn't want to walk all the way over there. If we don't get that back, I promise I'll be back with you. What do you mean by that? I mean what I said, so we should get it back. He did strike that other person in the face. There is oh, a mark who would like him checked out by EMS if you could have someone go over in the building. Absolutely. So right now I'm just buying some time for some other officers. We're going to take him into custody. He's already made it his intention that he's going to fight with us and, and run yeah. from us. So He was not to yeah, have he, no he, he, he for, kind of forced his way into the building. He grabbed another student was leaving for the day and he got his hand in there before the door shut completely and snuck in. Okay. Oh yeah, he is. He, he's already taking steps back. So if he starts running, then you know we'll deal with that. But I have the men staged over there for now, just with the anticipation that he is going to fight with us. But and like I said, until we get some more over here, I'm trying to yeah, gotcha. We'll, we'll buy some. We'll wait over Give you some then. space. Yeah. He then stated he would come back the next day with a weapon if needed. Like it's one thing to say, hey, can I have my girlfriend pepper spray back? It's another thing to. Walk behind the desk and start looking for it. Yeah, right? I know That's it is, but that only happened because they right. would and not if, give it back. Right, so then 
then call us. Don't take it upon yourself. Okay, well, I'm gonna, because I'm gonna get it back, and I will be back here exactly tomorrow to get that back to you, if I don't get it now. And what's gonna happen if they don't give it back to you? I'm gonna beat his again. Come on. I'll come that's, back with a weapon if I don't care, You're gonna dude. come back with a weapon? I don't care. We, that is something they're gonna throw away that we bought for You're gonna reason. come back to the... Bro, pepper spray is not that important, gang. What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? Nigga, I got pepper spray upstairs. Do you want some? Like, what's up with, bro? He got to be the stupidest person ever, bro. I'm going to come back with a weapon if I need to. Like, bro, you ain't even. With a weapon? I don't care. That's what you're saying. Like, really? Yeah. I'll wear some pepper spray. Be, is it really worth the rest it's of your life? Like, well, no. You're, like, you're I'm going to take your and just throw it away. And how would you feel? Well, I, for one, you're not going to touch my stuff. Well, I, I'll touch that and your until I get it back. I don't care. Hypothetically, it's like how would you think? This nigga crazy, bro. B Rad is really he bought that life, bro. He he was born in eight mile. B Rad crazy, bro. You feel me? Like he just walked up on the cop and said, I will take your shit and throw it away. Boy, you about to die. Like, is you crazy? I don't care. It's our property, you're just gonna throw away. It's 20, 30 bucks we spent that's just gonna get thrown away for no reason. Are you guys able to have somebody posted at the main entrance right there just to deter traffic? Sure. Um, one, I don't want anyone running inside the building, and two, I don't want somebody to come out yeah. and get caught. Oh, Appreciate it. Upon noticing another squad car approaching, he started to distance himself from the officers, leading them to suspect he was trying to flee. Don't, oh, don't, stop. Don't, I don't, don't walk away. Ben, stop. Don't walk away. Stop. Don't, this gun's hurt. Don't, 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 don't walk away from us. I just wanted to back up, bro. Don't, 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 don't walk away. Put me in cuffs. This is going to go bad, bro. I was sitting here. I was standing here. Stop. I was standing here. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. I was standing here. Put your hands behind your back. Problem. I was standing here. Stop. Put your hands behind your back. What the fuck? Put your hands behind your back. I'm trying. I'm trying, bro. What the fuck? You can't be crying now, bro. Like, what is you crying for? You was so gangster. Bro, you was so gangster, bro. You was from Malibu. You was from 8 Mile. You was repping all that shit, bro. You got on Looney Tunes draws. Is that Tom and Jerry gang? Oh, my goodness. Oh, I was fucking trying, bro. What's your problem? What the fuck? I was literally trying. You fucking Bring your arms behind your Bring your arm behind your back. I'm trying, dude. What are you doing? You're fucking retarded. Oh my god, bro. What the fuck is your problem, dude? Stop. I literally was Just relax. Trying. Just relax. No, what do you mean relax when you guys are throwing me around when I literally tried? Relax. Bro, you, so you told rude. us your intention was to run and fight us, okay? This is what we have to do. I never, no, I literally just took a step backwards. I can't fucking breathe. Oh, I'm gonna have a panic attack. You make some good We will let him. Oh, don't don't kick your legs. Come on, I didn't do anything, bro. I literally was standing there, dude. Stop kicking your legs. Bro, I was Relax, here, relax, man. Relax. Bro, what the fuck? Stop. Relax. I was standing here, dude, and you're fing throwing on the ground, bro. Relax. 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 There's, there's more charges. What are you guys saying? You heard it all? <laughs> yes! Yeah, you're all tossing me around and all I did was stand there. All I did was take one step back, dude. And you can throw me around with all... My thing is like, what did you expect that was supposed to happen, bro? You feel what I'm saying? Like, you talking all that rah-rah shit, I'll take your gun and I'll use it. I'm gonna come back tomorrow at this time at 2 o'clock. Bro, what the fuck you think that was supposed to happen, bro? You think we were just supposed to just sit there and say, come on, bro. And now you're doing all that crime. Bro, like, if you're going to be gangster, white boy, be gangster all the way, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is going on with you, man? Three of you. Identify her. Uh, Skull might have her information, but she's refusing at this point. So, she I just need to you guys no, right now. What do you guys need here? We're going to get the men over here. We're going to keep them safe, boys. The men's are across the parking lot there. I want my mom here. I, I want my mom. Her. I can call her for you. You want to come up here? Let me call my mom, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now, bro. Every gangster love their mama. I'm gonna tell you, why I want my mama. Hey, baby boy, I want my mama here. Mama like your safe haven. You feel me? Like, you gotta have mama there, bro. Okay, it's not worth it. I don't care, y'all. Doing this for no reason. I'm gonna no reason, bro. I'll find out where you 
Y'all owe me f***ing money for my shit, y'all ruining. Right now we have charges of DC. Third's still Leo. Resisting. Y'all better not take my f***ing phone. Y'all better not take my phone. It's being kept with your stuff, man. Why are you acting like that? Because y'all did this for no reason. I was just standing there. Perhaps we should try calming down. I was just standing there. Y'all need to f***ing calm down. We're calm. No, you guys just threw me around for no reason. How was that calm? Y'all are so f***ing slow. We're calm as we're calling f***ing retards, bro. I'm f***ing f***ing oh, bro. Oh, my God, dude. I f***ing hate you. That's so bad. Get off my arm, bro. Get off my arm, dude. You're f***ing pulling that shit, bro. Get off my arm, bro. What? You're pulling that shit, bro. What the f*** are you doing, bro? You need to calm You're down. You're stretching my What the f*** you mean? Calm down. That shit hurts, bro. Just let me put my arm, dude. Bro, get off my arm, bro. Get off my arm, bro. Get off my arm, bro. We have EMS here. What do you need, okay? What do you mean what I need? Y'all the ones f***ing hurting me. What? What's hurt? <laughs> oh, my God. Get off. <laughs> what's, what's hurt? What's hurt? Oh, bro. Y'all are f***ing hurting me, dog. Stop. Oh, you push me off again, you're going to have an issue. Stop. What the f*** are you going to do? me? What the f***? Why are you acting like this? Can we get him in your squad, Brady? Oh, Dude, get off my arm, bro. Come on. Get off my arm, bro. Why are we doing this? Because I'm a your throat. What's your officer name? Well, I can find you, kill you, bro. What does threatening you, cops do for you other than just give you more charges? Shut the f*** up. So right you can't give me no charges for nothing I didn't right do. Now. You're threatening to kill law enforcement. Wild that's actually a charge. I don't care about you too, bro. Uh, that's four now. Is he the one wanting to go to hospital or you guys are like, I don't. Take they're the ones hurting me for no reason, bro. What the f***? Do you need to go to the hospital for any reason? Yeah, come on, let's go. What do you need? Get off me. I need to go to the hospital. Yeah, I'm gonna let you Yeah, they keep hurting me. I don't understand. This shit hurts. Where are you hurting me? Everywhere. They keep throwing me around and tossing me around. Okay, so you started hurting when you fell to the ground. Yeah, off me. Yeah, but they choked me out before this, dude. Okay. Alright, you're I can't breathe. I'm gonna have a panic attack. Can you at least tell me what your first name is? They are just out. Take off. Stand up. Except this lady, she helped me out. Alright, we're gonna go to the back of the room now. I don't know. I don't wanna leave without my mom, bro. Hey, this is. This is. Yeah. This is my car, big dog. This is my car. I still have to get a statement from here for the original thing. Can somebody go up there with him? Okay. I think Ross is riding, but. Ross is gonna ride. I just got a couple cuts. Yeah, just before we took him down, just so you know, he was saying his intention was come, to come back here tomorrow with a weapon okay. and take care of business. Right. So we'll uh, obviously do like extra patrols and stuff yeah. like that. I mean, he's not going to be out tomorrow, but. Around to the point. So I'm going to sit right here. I do have air conditioning that I can send to the back. So I'll make sure that's turned up for you. Hey, okay, Gabe, hold on. Hold on, hold on. They gave this boy, they said, I want you to sit right here so we can put you in the car that you can get air conditioning. But they don't do nobody else like this. I'm just speaking this. Hey, hey. They don't do, they don't treat nobody else like, bro, if this nigga was black, he would have died. You feel me? They would have been on his neck. He would have been dead. That's crazy. And then they gave this boy AC, they're going to take him to Jack in the Box, get him some food, take him to the mall. The 
22-year-old male was charged with felony counts of battery to school district officers, battery threat to an officer, times four, misdemeanor counts of resisting, obstructing an officer, disorderly conduct, and he was given a cash bond set at $3,000. About six months later, he was found guilty due to a no contest plea, but only for his misdemeanor charges and one felony charge. The remaining were dismissed, but read in. Ultimately, he received an 18-month probationary period. Nonetheless, if he adheres to the court agreement and avoids any further criminal charges during that period, his battery charge against school district officers will be dropped. All right, man, so basically there goes that video. I ain't gonna lie, I could have ended way worse than what it was, bro. He really got off with a slap on the wrist, bro. 18 months probation. All right, cool, whatever, bro. But I just feel like if that was anybody else, any other race, black, Hispanic, bro, we would have been under the jail. We would have been dead. Just keeping it real, keeping it in the book. But uh, Vanilla Ice, he got a break, bro. But all that gangster stuff, bro, let me cut that out, bro. That's not you, bro. Be who you are, bro. It's 2024. Be who you are, bro. And let your little young-ass girlfriend graduate. You know what I'm saying? And then you can't be acting tough over no, 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 no damn pepper spray, bro. You said $20, $30, and you caught a felony charge? Come on, bro. You a goofy, man. Until next video, man. Enjoy the other man. We out, man.